Hey guys, how's everyone doing? The Reversal Stories is back in town and in this video we'll be checking out the many reversals on display including the first ever reversal a high complication reversal and once we are done viewing we get our hands on with the Palage machine so we get a feel of what the watchmakers go through every day and lastly we visit the 1931 cafe and have a nice cup of coffee to end the day so guys remember to like and subscribe and follow me along as you go through the journey of the reversals history We are at the Marina Bay Sands Event Plaza and that is located right outside of the main shopping mall, the Shoppies Marina Bay Sands. And we are here for the Jezelico Reversal Stories Exhibition. The event is held from June 1st to June 8th and it is a global marketing campaign. JLC will go to different cities of the world and promote the brand and mainly focus on the reversal. And this year it is about the golden ratio and how it is implemented on different aspects of life in nature, in art and of course in the reversal. Also a quick shout out to our tour guide Wei Xiang. He is wearing a very lovely grand tail reversal. Uh, it is a discontinued piece but really nice and uh, thank you for the nice guide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The main part of the exhibition is right here in the viewing area and this is where you get to see the history of the reversal since its inception. You get to see the different models on display including the one you see on the screen, the first ever reversal born in 1931 but the idea of it was conceived in 1930 when businessman Cesar de Trey while witnessing a polo match, he was challenged to find a way to protect the glass of a watch of polo players during matches. So Mr. Dutre approached his friend Mr. Jacques David de Coult to produce the watch and the pair engaged Mr. René Alfred Chauveau to design it and then the reversal was born. So it is interesting to see the evolution of the reversal and not only that but how it is perceived throughout the years as it was initially born to be a sports watch and now in this current context i don't think anyone would categorize this as a sports watch it is mainly a dress piece considering the water resistant rating and also the leather strap and now you're looking at the latest release and iteration of the reversal this was announced in watches and wonder 2023 and i have a video of it previously where i tried it on so check it out if you haven't already you know I love reversals in burgundy and my personal one that I recently acquired is in steel but this pink gold burgundy with a sunburst finish to the dial is really magnificent and really stunning. Also new for 2023 this is the reversal one precious colors and I can't even begin to explain this piece. The mosaic design you see here wraps around the enamel frame and it accents the time telling side. Set with 274 diamonds totaling to 1.5 carats and it took 80 hours alone to just enamel each case. So crazy amount of work that goes into these pieces. Another crazy piece, this one is from 2021, features a flower motif design and this one has a bit more engraving and from certain lighting you can see there's a bit more depth into it, more textures. So another unique piece and you can see that the blank canvas of the reversals case and design can be used to really anything as far as the creative mind can go and we will continue to see that as we get to the high complication pieces and the one that you're seeing right now is another example of it an enamel painting of a zodiac sign I'm not quite sure which one but let me know in the comment section below also on display and for your perusal is the large replica of caliber 854 and this is the same movement that is being used in the dual face and I'll let Wei Xiang explain how it works and also include a video of the dual face to see how it works inside the watch. The single crown and you start turning, you can see the hands you set the time, going huh? in different directions. Wow. Ah, that's how it works. Okay. 
Can I try? You can see. So you when you set one side, side, when you set one side, how do you set it? So for example, you already set this at three twenty-five. Push in, and then this will stay at this time. Okay. You jump out, right? Yeah, oh, okay, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah. So first, it will be the same time, and then you set the other one with the... Now we move on to the fun part, the fun pieces, the high complication pieces, and we are starting with this 1993 reversal turbion, the reversal's first ever turbion, and this one has a power reserve indicator at the reverse side. A stunning piece, but I particularly like the platinum version of it with brigade numerals, but unfortunately they didn't have that one on display for this exhibition. Uh, moving on to the 1996 reversal chronograph, this one was a limited edition of 500 pieces and ever since then fans of JLC have been waiting for a relaunch and so they did with the 2023 reversal chronograph in steel and also precious metal that has been a arguably the best release of 2023 so far in my opinion of course uh, let me know which watch has been your favorite release so far this year uh, but anyway this is the reversal quantum perpetual they don't make this complication in a reversal case anymore only in the polaris and the master control if i'm not wrong more turbions but not just any turbion this is the reversal tribute gyro turbion in platinum a limited edition piece of just 75 pieces and if you guys have been following me for a while or have been watching my videos you know that i've tried on this special piece uh, last year's reversal stories exhibition uh, which was held inside the boutique instead of this outdoor setting and one thing that i liked about the reversal stories exhibition last year despite being in the boutique so the space was not that great but it offers a more intimate experience and you get to try on high complication pieces like this one along with many others so if you guys haven't watched that video it is definitely worth a watch i spent about two hours inside the boutique and there's a two-part video so make sure to watch it Earlier, I mentioned about the blank canvas of the reversal and how far you can push it. And this reversal that you are seeing right now on your screen is probably the furthest that JLC has pushed its design. This is the Hybris Mechanica Caliber 185 Quadriptic. And it's not only the most complicated reversal ever made, it's also one of the most complicated watches JLC has ever made, period. Featuring a total of 11 complications that includes an instantaneous perpetual calendar, a flying tourbillon, a minute repeater, three different cycles of the lunar month that includes the synodic cycle, draconic cycle, and animalistic cycle. And this is the only reversal with not two faces but four, with a retail price of 1.3 million euros. And last but not least, after 30 years since its inception, we look at the latest iteration of the Reverso Turbion. This one was announced at Watches and Wonders 2023. It comes in pink gold. And one of the most appealing thing about this Reverso Turbion is the thickness at only 9.15 mm thick. And we will get to see how it wears on the wrist in my next video. I managed to get a hands-on on this Turbion along with all of the 2023 novelties. So be sure to subscribe and not miss out on that video. Station. So flush actually means circular grading. So it grades all these kind of circular effects on your reversal time pieces. And even on the movement itself, you can see the side where you don't see, right? Yes, and even on the when you move it up, you can already see the circular grading. Is that engraving with it? Yeah, like all these. The, the one we didn't get to try last year. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get to try this? We attended on the last day and then the machine broke down. So, ah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's this machine. Yeah, it's this machine, yeah. Another chance for you to do Yeah, finally. Oh, this is how they did the texture. Yeah, okay, so See. it really requires a lot of stability. Precision depends on how much pressure you apply. You do this. You can see different shapes. So there's another photo moment that you can get your hands on. Uh, maybe one of you can come in. You can. I hope you can hear Wei Xiang's explanation earlier. It was a bit crowded when we went and I think they were fully booked throughout the whole uh, duration of the event. So really successful uh, marketing campaign by GLC. 
but the downside of it is that the tour can feel a little bit rushed at times and because of the volume of the crowd so understandably so uh, but Wei Xiang did a great job nonetheless uh, I actually went two times on two separate days uh, just because I didn't have time on my first visit to take uh, proper videos and pictures so yeah but anyway here's my friend trying to palage the first letter of his name see if you can tell what letter it is <laughs> And for me, I did a heart for my subscribers, of course. And if you're not one, this is a good time to like and subscribe. Uh, but anyway, we're done with the main exhibition hall. And after that, we are going next doors to the 1931 cafe. Oh, very. Can we keep this? Oh, no. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, very detailed. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yes, we can be doing a section like this. Yeah, oh, nice. Nice. Wow. So these are the hashtags that you can use. We'll post it on social media okay. and then throw it to the doubles as to exit. And okay. then you can get this. Okay, and nice. So, so this will Very be nice. our customized menu that we have. There's coffee, chocolate, as well as uh, some other uh, offerings that we have. If you want something in uh, heavy alternatives, we do have it in food and soy milk. And the weather's a bit hot today, so yeah. there's also ice. I was, what, I was thinking about that, yeah. But, we got our free cup of coffees and medellins. The weather was extremely hot outside, but I had to go with a warm cup of salted caramel latte just because of the coffee art. And my friend got a hazelnut latte iced, which was definitely the right choice in this weather, but I had to do a warm cup of coffee just for the video and for social media. So let's head outside and sit at the outdoor sitting area as everyone's inside right now trying to cool down from the heat. And thank you again to Wei Xiang. He helped us carry our plates of medellins. But yeah, take a look at this outdoor view. And I think it is definitely worth braving the heat for this. You get to enjoy your free cup of JLC coffee with a seaside view and talking about watches and really it doesn't get any better than this so thank you again to GLC and the team for another amazing event and when you leave you also get a free reversal tote bag so yeah guys another fun event by GLC and remember this is only part one after this I head on over to the boutique and visit Bruce to try on all of the new 2023 novelties so remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.